it's all, so, all over the place. Yeah, it's all over the place. Plus, it has something to do with a parrot head license plate. Well, this is interesting. Wow. Five o'clock somewhere. What a story. <laughs> That's right. Nearly three dozen new state laws will take effect on October 1st today, including um, a contentious measure, they say, that will limit where homeless people can sleep. Uh, other measures include creating a license plate for parrot heads living the life of late singer <laughs> Uh, and requirements about flood disclosures for home buyers. Oh, I thought that was already a thing. Mm-hmm. In all 34 laws uh, that passed during the 2024 legislative season, uh, they will take effect with the homelessness uh, changes, HB 1365, drawing the most attention. Mm. Uh, let's see, there's a quote here that says Florida has chosen to reject comfortable inaction and tackle this problem head on. That was House Bill sponsor Sam Garrison of Fleming Island. Uh, Let's see. The new Florida law bars governments from allowing people to sleep at places such as public buildings and in public rights of way. Local governments would be allowed to designate areas for homeless folks to sleep. Uh, Another part of the measure will give legal standing to residents and business owners to file civil lawsuits against local governments that allow sleeping or camping on public property. Oh, I could see that one. Yeah. I could see that one being a a hot point here in town soon. Uh, That part of the law will take effect January 1st. Communities have scrambled in recent months, they say, to try and comply with the new law. Fort Lauderdale Mayor Mayor Dean Trantalis, uh, said he helped Governor Ron DeSantis he hoped DeSantis would delay the enforcement. What do you think about this, Troy? I, yeah. mean, I have to I imagine mean, this has been on your radar. You're being quiet. Well, I mean, it, the thing is, is you have to have solutions before you put in put in these uh, effects. There's no solutions for this. They act like, oh, okay, we're going to make this law. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to take care of it. But we're, then we're not going to put any money after it. So, um, you know, without, it's easy for these legislators to state mandate stuff. But the municipalities can't afford to build new centers. I mean, uh, Palatka can't afford to build a new center if there's mm. homeless in, in Palatka. Uh, St. Augustine, you know, people people believe, you know, downtown, you know, it feels like there's a lot, but there's 26 people that that sleep in, in or around downtown. Okay. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a big number for such a small space, but it's not that big a number. Um, Jacksonville has hundreds to thousands that sleep on the street like mm-hmm. that. Um you know, we have people that are sleeping in camps. We have, you know, we have, you know, like 1,500 homeless people in, in St. John's County. Um, but, you know, it's easy to make these laws. You know, you're sitting in your uh, hoity-toity house, and you're not thinking that this is someone's brother or someone's sister that's struggling with mental illness, and there's no place for them to go. And they've created no place for them to go. So unless you have... Uh, you're prepared to put the money behind it. Don't make a law that you can't enforce. So, I mean, and, and the city, the city is trying to do, you know, they're, they're doing, a, uh, um, the thing with the, uh, the situation over at 207, but, and then mm-hmm. they also pay St. Francis house for beds, but there's not enough beds there. There's only like eight beds. Right. Right. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just, you know, I, I, I it frustrates me because, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to end up filling up uh, the Harvard Hotel, which cost us that was my a question ton to you. of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if if it really, truly gets enforced, it's going to cost us a ton of money to to do what the these legislations are, legislators are asking us to do. They say Miami-Dade County is considered mm-hmm. tiny houses um, <laughs> managed by a homeless agency, the mm-hmm. Homeless Trust as emergency accommodations to limit the impact of the changes on jails. Jacksonville rolled out recently a $13.6 million plan to address the law that included a point person in the mayor's office to address the homelessness issue, uh, expanded outreach teams and in and an increase in bed in their shelters, beds in their shelters. Uh, Donna Deegan said it is not just about keeping people off the streets. It's about making sure they can become viable members of our society. Yeah. Thanks Donna. Yeah. You're not with the winner. No, no, she, she's not, she's not in the fight. 
If yeah. she was in the fight, she'd have been in the fight years ago when she had she had the format to to be in there. She's not in the fight. It just yeah. doesn't seem so proactive, it, like you said. Yeah, it's, I mean, that, that's the whole thing. I, and I I've, I've been a part of this homeless trying to be a part of the solution. I, I, I've had some successes, but I've had way more losses since 2003. And it's, you know, you can ease it, but you can't solve it. And people got to understand, you know, do what you can when you can. And, and uh, you know, I, I love the fact that uh, all of a sudden now that they, this law is in place, uh, that they're, they're throwing money at it. Yeah, no, no, come on. Mm. It, it's, it's, fr- it's very frustrating um you know from our side as providers uh you know put your money where your mouth is is basically what i'm saying so all right they say most bills passed during this year's legislative session took effect on july 1st including uh the budget for 2024 2025 uh some of the other measures that are going to take effect today house bill 403 creates several potential new license plates including the Margaritaville plate in honor of Jimmy Buffett. Oh, please. I need to get a Florida Man game. To play. Yes, you do. That would be uh, great. I think so. HB 549 makes it a third-degree felony to be part of a group of five or more people who overwhelm a merchant to conduct retail theft. SB 718 makes it a second-degree felony for people who possess fentanyl or similar drugs that result in first responders suffering an overdose or serious injuries. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. SB 758 makes changes to the laws about using tracking devices with exemptions for law enforcement officers, parents of minors, caregivers of seniors, and vehicle owners. Uh, SB 764 requires medical facilities and uh, crisis centers to transfer uh, assault evidence kits uh, to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement within 30 days. SB 1036 increases criminal penalties for immigrants who are arrested for felonies after illegally re-entering the United States following deportation earlier, uh, following deportation for earlier crimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. HB 1049 requires disclosing information to home buyers, such as whether the properties have had blood damage and a notification to homeowners insurance about policies that don't include coverage for flood damage. That's a good, that's, I think, a good one, right? I would sort think of like so. Like a Carfax, you know, you're going to get the right? history. Yeah. HB 1235 makes a series of people who have homes in Davis Shores hate that. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. HB 1235 makes a series of changes related to uh, assault offenders, uh, predators, including uh, changing requirements about reporting to authorities at least 48 hours before uh, moving to another state. HB 1389 makes changes related to uh, digital voyeurism, including increasing criminal penalties if offenders are age 19 or older and are family members or hold positions of authority over the victim. What is digital voyeurism? This sounds Uh, like this should have been illegal already. Right. Right. What were we thinking? Jeez. Doesn't it? I mean, yeah, it does. I, I, I'm surprised that wasn't. Maybe they're just bolstering maybe, it up maybe, a little maybe bit. Maybe they're with this cleaning up. Like, yeah, somebody got off, you know, uh, you know, because of some technicality, and they just cleaned it up. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that should have been illegal already. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real. Okay. Uh, SB sixteen twenty eight includes requirements requiring local governments to complete business impact statements before adopting a comprehensive plan adjustment mm. and land development regulations. I'm not mad at that. Um, so there you go, man. Some new stuff on the books. Wow. See some changes. De- definitely a lot of that will affect St. John's County for sure, as we've kind of just covered. Laws. Laws. Speaking of laws, there's a free family law workshop coming to St. John's County. 